back the public for the first time in almost two years. Seabreeze Amusement and Water Park will open its gates tomorrow morning. Eric Atacost is live there this morning with a preview, having a lot of fun, a great assignment for you. Good morning, Eric Atta. Good morning, Leah. Great assignment for sure. I'm actually getting a, some flashbacks to when I was a little girl uh, riding this ride. It's so scary, but so fun. Joined with me is Assistant Director of Operations Alex Culp. So for families out there, I mean, this is a huge deal. So many months, almost, you know, 18 months of preparation for opening safely with the pandemic, waiting for guidelines. Uh, one of those guidelines is just to distancing on a ride. What does that look like? So yeah, um, in this example, we would be in a party together so we can ride together and we could fill this whole car. But in fact, the next party would need to be two seats distance away. So they wouldn't be here or here, they would be in the next seat behind them. Yeah, and a lot of our viewers are wondering about masks probably because the new guidance uh, came out Wednesday with the state uh, adopting the CDC guidance. Those fully vaccinated don't have to wear masks in most settings. What does that mean for Seabreeze? Uh, we are following the same guidance. Fully vaccinated individuals would not need to wear a mask here. Awesome. So more information coming up in the next half hour and also on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Uh, tickets sold out for tomorrow, Saturday, but you still have a Sunday and they're open just weekends for most of June. Uh, and we'll keep you updated as everything uh, comes, uh, more rides come out and more of these um, open up, especially the water park next weekend. So I'll send it back to you, Mark and Leah. All right. Great to see it's back. One of the best rides there, the Jackrabbit. Thank you so much. Later today, the Norris family will be addressing the public with city, state and federal officials talking about the reopening, of course, and COVID guidelines.